Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, hams of all ages, we have something so incredibly special today, and I'm so excited for what we are about to see, and it is in this envelope right here. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Nelson Antetta's 80 meter N-Fed half wave. I've had this for a while now, and I'm, bar I'm embarrassed to say that I have not unpackaged it because I wanted to film this video. So without any further ado, let's unpackage this thing. Oh, look, look at that. It's, see it's like the 90s with the pagers. You got the see-through uh, cases. Oh, that is too cool. That is too cool. So there you can see the toroid. That is cool. All right. We've got our little uh, loading coil on there. So that's good. Nice dog bone insulator at the end. Good quality wire. What is this? This is 18 gauge marine SAE, blah, blah, blah. So fantastic. I'm using, I think I'm using 18 gauge uh, wire for what's on my house right now. Okay, so here's some things that Shane from Nelson Antennas wrote me. And by the way, thank you, Shane. Uh, Shane did send me this for review after the uh, 9 to 1 antenna that we reviewed from Nelson Antennas. So uh, big, big shout out to Shane at Nelson Antennas. Thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> look, at that. look at that. That's so awesome. I love... I just want to marvel in this for a minute. I love how he makes his antennas. These are just spectacular. Absolutely wonderful. Okay. Good strain relief there. Okay. I stole this idea. I, I bought some of these and put them on my antenna that's up there now, but ah, oh, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I love this already. How cool is that? You can see the toroid. That is much better wound than any toroid I will ever wind. And then there's the SO239. So he sent along a letter, so let's read this and uh, we can read it together. So uh, he says, hello, Mike. Along with the sheet added that goes with every antenna, I wanted to add some information for you that you may find useful and may even convey to your watchers. Uh, when these are built and mounted down low at the matching transformer and the element goes up and outward from there, the way these are made, they're tuned for that installation. So uh, for the deepest dip to be in the center of the band. So what he's saying is the matchbox, the way he designed these, the matchbox needs to be low to the ground. That's not what we're gonna do. And insta as installation height is added, it makes the electrical length of the antenna longer and its deepest SWR dip is often moved to the lower portions of the band. That's fine. This is common behavior for any antenna type, but I build them for the lowest installations because that is where the antenna needs to be the longest to ensure an antenna is never shipped acting short. See, he takes care of the little details. That's great. Uh, so when installing them at higher heights than the transformer at four to five, uh, four, uh, blah, blah, five to six feet from earth, you may need to check the SWR dips and if necessary, trim several inches from the dog bone insulator, that guy, to bring the dips to the center in all bands. Just watch the dips on all bands as you trim to be sure you're happy with where you leave the dips for bandwidth on all the bands if you do trim. Also, these are tuned for 80 through 10. If on 75 meters, you'll need to touch it up with a tuner, that's fine. Uh, that shouldn't be much. Any tuner at all will do. I'll be offering a 75 to 10 meter version soon. He also offers an 80 meter resonator kit. That was the one we were going to go with until I discovered that I had enough room for a full uh, length 80 meter antenna. So if you don't have room for an 80 meter antenna that's 130 some odd feet long, he does sell a 40 meter end fed with a 80 meter resonator kit. It's basically a coil uh, that adds inductance and, and gets you resonant on 80 meters. So that was really cool. He also offers these in a one kilowatt uh, plus power handling. Enjoy and let me know when you plan to publish the review as I'm sure I can offer you a discount code for your people. That is you. So whenever uh, I post this video, I will have some kind of thing here across the screen that says what the discount is and there will be uh, instructions in the description of the video to find out how to get a discount from Nelson Antenna. So thank you, Shane. Some other notes about this antenna that we kind of touched. It, the, so the main instructions that you'll get if you order one of these says about 800 times the transformer is meant to be mounted low to the ground, like five to seven feet, okay? And run as a sloper with the dog bone 
going up, okay? I don't have that luxury where I live, so we are going to bring it up, and we might have to trim it. That's fine. I'm okay with that. Just know that this antenna is designed with the transformer to be low to the ground. But he talks about uh, how you can set it up. You can set it up as a simple sloper. You can do an inverted L, again, where the transformer is down uh, close to the ground, run the wire up 20 or 30 feet, and then 90 degrees uh, run the rest of the wire. Uh, or a zigzag pattern. If you don't have room for all this, you can kind of zigzag it and make it up. Doesn't really matter. So lots of ways you can adjust this. The counterpoise is not usually needed, but if you want to put a counterpoise on, a four foot long counterpoise wire at the most can be attached to uh, the grounding lug, which I think is right here. That would make sense. So you can, you can attach a counterpoise wire there. You can directly ground the counterpoise lug you may find a slightly lower S unit level in doing so. I assume that means on receive. We highly suggest not trying to weatherproof the box any further than they already are, but instead you drill a very small weep hole in the box after it's installed. So what he's talking about, this box is already kind of waterproof enough. Whenever this is installed, you know, say it's sloping that way, get a drill and put like a 1 16th inch hole in the bottom and as as it heats up during the day the air inside here will expand and kind of force out the uh water so i have to go do some things i have to swap out some paracord and i have to take the other antenna down so i'm gonna go do that and uh we'll see i may or may not film that and we'll come back with the results so i gotta lower this that's the 10 tennis we're gonna lower that down i'm gonna go on the other side of the property i'm gonna replace the paracord that i have holding up the other end and then we'll hop on the roof and swap it all out and hoist it all up. So I've got a length of paracord tied to the other end of this. So I've got to bring the old stuff back and then untie it. And then we'll tie the new antenna to the new paracord. And there it comes. Yeah, that just fell down. <laughs> they never gave me points for being the smartest kid in school, I'll tell you that much. How many of you were predicting that? That we are. Let's uh, secure this a little bit. Take down our ten tennas. Wrap up the old wire. Put some zip ties on her. Is all bundled up. Now I gotta unwind all of this wire. All right, we'll spool it out that way. We did it. We did it. I'm gonna put my paracord in our insulator here. Try and fail at tying a bowline on camera. Hey, we did it. And then we're gonna hoist this up. Very nice construction. We got a little heat shrink on the end there. Nice detail. Unfortunately, I will most likely be cutting that off, but that's okay. Tie this guy on here. All right. I'm gonna put a little dielectric grease on the PL259. And get a lifetime supply of this at uh, AutoZone for just a few bucks. Little dabble do ya. And this will be fed with Messi and Poloni Ultraflex 7. And these are the Evo connectors, the Evolution connectors. These things are awesome. All right, that's nice and snug. And we'll get the Handyman Secret Weapons cousin. Those of you in the north know what the Handyman Secret Weapon is. Down here in the south, we use its cousin, electrical tape. This is Temflex 1300. Interesting side note, this bit of electrical tape was sent to me by Lord Callum himself from DX Commander. Thanks, Callum. All the way from the UK to the US and they. One of the greatest things about this Messi and Poloni connector, there's a gasket inside that prevents moisture from coming up inside where the coax enters the hole, and there's also a gasket around here. So from underneath, this is completely watertight. You don't need to be out, you don't need to worry about sealing your coax or anything. So that 
is a rocking antenna right now. So we're ready to hoist it up and she's up right there. My God, what a thing of beauty. Look at that beaut just hanging there like she wants to own the airwaves. Oh yeah, all the way over the house and somewhere in that tree. Well, let's hook it up to the analyzer, see what it looks like. Might have to do some trimming, maybe not. We'll see. All right, the moment we've all been waiting for, the antenna is up. I did zero trimming. So let's take a look at the analyzer and we will start with 80 meters. We're a little below and let's go up and see what we get. So we're 1.8 at the very bottom. And as we go up, let's see here. 1.3, around 3.6. 75 ohms. So the ohms are a little high, but the SWR is fine. Let's see if we go all the way to the top. Yeah, see, now we're getting a little, little high there. I'll have to shorten this. I'm not going to do it today. I'm too freaking hot. And I'm not going to lie, I kind of just want to play with the antenna. But that's fine. So I need to shorten a little bit, which we knew that was in the instructions. He told us everything. So that's fine. So let's take a look at uh, 40 meters now. Ooh, that looks good. Bottom of the band, we're 1.6-ish, 1.7. Let's go up a bit. 1.3. Shoot. 1.1 doesn't really get much better than that so that's good let's check 20 meters now 2.0 there so it definitely needs to be shortened there's no question about that but that's fine that's fine we knew that coming into it let's check uh, 17 meters I just want to see what this is right out the box with a you know, the, I put it up the way he said not to because <laughs> I don't have a choice and it's still performing well. That's kind of kind of the whole point of this. The quality of these Nelson antennas is just Shane, you do a tremendous job, buddy. These antennas are fantastic. So we're we're well uh, within reasonable limits here on 17 meters. Let's try 15 just for giggles. We'll go through them all. So 1.2 at the bottom end and all the way up. Yeah, 15 is 15's banging. Let's try 12. Where are we? 24, 8 something. So yeah, whatever. 1.4, 1.5, and 12. Not a very big band. Okay, great. And how about 10? There's the bottom of 10, 1.6. As we get up to the phone portion, still 1.6, 1.7. So reasonable. Reasonable. Not, that, not uh, perfect, but we can, uh, that'll, all be, that'll all be fixed when I cut it. So, yeah, it just gets better as we go higher, so. But once we, once we trim that kind of, and kind of everything will just come into line. That's, that's how these end feds work. So let's check six. Uh, I don't think this is rated for six meters, but let's, let's do it anyway, just because. Uh, where are we, 50? Yeah, we're, we're nowhere close, but. Eh, that might come into line when we cut it. I don't know. These antennas are really more 80 through 10. So no tuning, no following the instructions. We've already got that good a result. I'm going to leave it alone for now. I just, I don't feel like climbing back on the roof and, and shortening it. I, I probably need to cut off like two or three feet in all honesty to kind of sweeten it up there on uh, 75 meters. But all the bands, uh, all the bands look totally fine. So I'm going to hop on the 7610 and we'll see what uh, the radio thinks and how it tunes up all the bands and we'll wrap it up. Oh yeah. Look at this sexy beast of a radio. So we're on uh, 75 meters right now. Let's hit the tune button. Yeah, didn't even, didn't even flinch at it. Let's go to 40 meters. 40 was pretty resonant, but yep, nothing. Uh, I didn't check 30 meters, but we're tuning that no problem. 14 or 20 meters rather 17 meters no problem 15 meters no problem 12 meters no problem 
10 meters. Done and done. And let's try six just for the heck of it. It was not happy on six, but. Hey, we got a match. Good deal. Now, is this the ideal thing to do with an NFED half wave like this? No, it's freaking hot out. I'm sweating and I want to just play radio. So uh, at some point I will cut this. I'm sure I, I, uh, I'm I quite a stickler about uh, resonant antennas. For some reason, my noise floor is down. So I'm going <laughs> to take advantage of that and hop on the radio. And again, uh, discount code in the description. Guys, if you like what you see, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe and share buttons. Share it with everyone you know. Go support Nelson Antennas on eBay. And uh, the links for uh, the discount code will be in the description. And until next time, guys, thanks so much for watching. And we will see you on another episode of KMRD Radio Stuff. 73, guys.